Padel has installed several low-carbon technologies at his home in Sandhurst, Kent. The technologies I installed here include a wind turbine, uh, some solar hot water and some solar electricity, as well as lots of energy saving devices. The first thing I did was doing a lot of investigation to understand exactly what the technologies do, how they work, what kind of grants you can get, and really what the real cost of the whole project was going to be. Part of the information I got um, was from the Energy Saving Trust in terms of how much money I could get in terms of grants for the solar PV and the solar hot water systems. The wind turbines is running as an off-grid system and the reason I've done that is because for a grid tie system you actually have to sync up with the mains for three minutes. Now with wind it's very gusty so you'll get some wind, it stopped, you get some wind, it stopped, so it's very inefficient. So the reason I've put it into batteries is because each one of those little gusts I can collect the wind from it. Wind turbines work best in very windy places such as the coast, high ground and wide open spaces. For the wind turbine we put a uh, wind speed meter up to see the most efficient place to put the turbine. Uh, so we moved it around over a period of time and finally settled on the location where it is at the moment. Use the wind speed predictor tool on the Energy Saving Trust website to see whether your average annual wind speed is high enough to benefit from a wind turbine. The solar panels work whatever the weather. They're obviously a lot more efficient when it's a really bright day. It's not so much the sun shine, it's the intensity of the light that they work on. So even today it's a fairly overcast day but we'll still be generating some electricity and the water will be warming up to a certain degree. Ideally they need to be south facing. They do work if they're not quite south facing but they, you're obviously losing a bit of efficiency. For the hot water solar panels you can put them on the east and west sides if you've got an east and west facing roof. The south facing solar electric panels generate direct current which is then converted to alternating current by an inverter. The electricity can then be used by the appliances in the home and any surplus is exported back to the grid. When we installed the solar electricity system, we also installed an energy monitoring device. The device we've installed actually monitors what electricity is coming in from the grid and what electricity we're generating ourselves. Now that means that we can see that when, when we're generating excess electricity, we don't waste it. So if we're seeing a big um, export meter uh, reading, what we do is we put the washing machine on. Even if we're not using it all, it still goes out to the grid, so no electricity is wasted because we all get the benefit of it, so the neighbours will be using it. The systems I've installed here are pretty much uh, fit and forget technology. The, the solar panels, um, certainly for the uh, electricity, you fit them, you don't need to know anything else, they kind of get on and do their thing. The solar hot water system, the solar thermal, uh, you need to check occasionally to make sure you've got no leaks in the system, but other than that it pretty much gets on and does what it needs. The hot water system has certainly saved a significant amount of money in terms of heating costs, saving us a lot of money on fuel. Uh, pretty much in the summer months we don't use any other form of heating for the water. In the winter months, uh, it's cold day to day, it probably isn't going to be doing a huge amount, but it'll warm the water up a little bit. The wind turbine is a big mechanical device sitting on the top of a six metre pole. You've got to make sure that all the connections are very secure, so that's something you have to check fairly regularly. But the electronics that go with it, that's fairly standard, that doesn't really need a lot of maintenance at all. The real benefits of installing all the microgeneration systems is understanding exactly how much energy we use and how we can cut that usage uh, with fairly simple tasks. Uh, so for example, light bulbs. Um, if I don't change any of the light bulbs for energy efficient ones, we have to put up a significant more amount of um, generation equipment. For more information and to check for grants and offers, check the Energy Saving Trust website.